What's going on guys, it's Falrico here with another hot, disgusting, beast, analytic gameplay. And this time we're playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on Recovery Free For All. Let's do this. So, I don't know if I've actually told this story on YouTube yet. I don't remember where exactly. I've told it to everybody, but not on YouTube, I don't think. So, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell this story. Okay, so, basically, one night I was working... You know what I'm saying? Doing what it do, what I normally do. You know what I'm saying? And he's fucking, this fucking dude comes. It was during, it was during, uh, like, a celebration of the city, I guess, where it's like some fireworks show, and they fucking get drunk, and all that dumb shit. But anyway, this guy, he comes into the store drunk, but I don't see him, because I'm in the back of the store, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting in work, you know, whatever. And he comes in, and he goes to the chip aisle. And he starts eating the chips. He just opens the fucking chip bag and just starts eating. And then he fucking go proceeds to open up a 12-pack of Pepsi and start drinking that too. But nobody notices and and until I uh, went back there and looked later on. But anyway, he comes to my section and I'm in the over here next to the biscuits and all the cheese and all that stuff or whatever. And so he comes over there and starts knocking over my biscuits. And I'm fucking livid. I'm like, this cock blower is going to knock over all this shit. I fucking sat there for 30 minutes. Got it all together. And I'm behind schedule. And this fucking idiot decides to come over here and knock shit over. What a fucking asshole. Bitch made motherfucker this guy is. So anyways, he knocks over my biscuits. And then he puts some in his pocket. I'm like, yo. Yo, you just going to steal my biscuits? I didn't say nothing to him. I'm like, okay, bro. He's not going to make it out the door. He's going down, player. He is going down. But anyway, um, I go back into the back. And I I go to put some, sh uh, some shit down. And, like, get some other stuff that I needed to go back out to the floor. And he comes through the door and, like, stumbles through the fucking... It was like a double door swinging open type door. Like how they have in stores, obviously. At your local grocery store, they have, like, some double swinging door. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it works. So, anyways, he comes through the door and fucking stumbles through and knocks down and drops a bunch of biscuits out of his pockets. Like, change and shit. Like, he fucking dropped change and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I just walked past him um, because I didn't know how to react. I didn't know what to say. I can't, I didn't know how to confront a situation. This was like, I've only been there for like a month and we got situ, like, I don't know what to say. I've never seen this, this type of level of no class. Like, I, I'm unaware of this shit in the world. I'm naive to the no class. So he fucking stumbles through and knocks the business over. I walk past him. I come back and I say, uh, sir, why are you back here? And he, and he fucking goes, <laughs> I go, What? And he goes, huh? And he goes, do you see the devil? I'm like, what the fuck? I, that's when I said, bitch, what? And he fucking just stutters and stambers on his words a little bit more. And I was like, oh, I can smell the liquor on him. I'm like, this guy's fucking, fucking drunk as shit. And I'm like, fuck. All right, so now... I like I'm like oh man I gotta find I gotta find Miss Diane my boss I'm like this is fucking not good I can't deal with this shit right now and as soon as I go to pick up the phone to call her she comes flipping around flying around the corner I'm like yes thank God so now I'm cornered up in the corner she's standing there confronting this guy and this guy's on the right side of me and she's on the left and I got my back into a corner and I'm just sitting there like oh fuck this is bullshit so he fucking is over there. Um, rambling on, and she's looking at him like he's got ten fucking heads, and he's like, I'm, he, she was like, what are you doing back there, sir? He goes, I'm hanging pictures. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking, and this, at this point, the loss prevention dudes are rolled up, so now I'm really in the corner. I got two big fucking six, seven dudes, and white dudes, and then this Diane, and then the guy, so I'm back into a corner, I'm about to come out swinging like, like fucking, uh, I don't know. <laughs> fuck it. No, so anyways, like fucking Muhammad Ali after he rope a dope. Fuck it. Nevertheless, he uh, I'm back. I'm backed into a corner, and so eventually he, he uh, and then he had no shoes on. On top of that, this motherfucker had no shoes on. Just come stumbling into the store. So anyway, we all disperse, and he we were like, yeah, but you can't. He, she was like, yeah, but you can't be back here. So he goes waddling on, and a lot of convention guys are stalking him like a hyena and shit. 
and just watch him to make sure he does nothing stupid. And of course, he does something stupid. He goes to the uh, electronics aisle, and the TVs are hung up on uh, up on the side of the wall. This motherfucker scales the wall like Peter Parker, and and ha is hanging off the side of one of these uh, fucking Vizios, just hanging off the side of the bitch. And then he dismounts it, and he lays on the fucking ground. It goes to sleep with the TV. I'm like, bruh, <laughs> bruh, what the fuck is going on right now? What is wrong with these people? And so that's basically the end of the story. He gets arrested. He goes to jail. I had his picture, but then I deleted it. And I don't remember his name, but he looked like a fucking retard. He had long black hair. He looked ridiculous. He was skinny. I thought he was a girl when he was knocking on my biscuits. I was like, look at this whore knocking over my biscuits. You fuck. Whore. Now, nah, nevertheless, um, but yeah, it's weird with these people. It's like these Indiana people, because I'm not from here, they, they always want to wear no shoes. Like, there was a guy who came in with his mother, and he looked like he was 70 and shit. He looked like a crackhead Robert Plant. And he comes in, and <laughs> it looks like he just comes in with his mom, and he has no shoes on, and he stinks, and his mom stinks. And he looked like they just walked from Woodstock on over here to buy some fucking food. And they're over here walking around with no shoes on. And it's, every time he lifted up his feet, I could see the blackness under his feet. And it was a white guy, too. So every time I seen the blackness under his feet, I'm just disgusted. I'm like, look at these dirty, dirty, dirty black feet white people. It pissed me off. But nevertheless, like and subscribe, all that bullshit. Twitter.com slash Valrico. YouTube.com YouTube slash Valrico. And I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace.